everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're doing a cute little craft project and making this adorable greeting card for the holidays. I'll get into the supplies we need and then we'll get into making this cute bow for a card. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. I'm using Red Heart with love. And this color is called Holly Berry. Uh, you can use any color you want, any acrylic yarn or cotton yarn that you want, size four medium. Our double knitting yarn is also good to use. Just something that's thin and uh, easy to work with. You're also going to need a G-sized hook, which is 4.25 millimeters or 4.5 millimeters. This crochet hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. It is super fancy. It is hand-carved ergonomic. It's a wooden handled crochet hook that's curved to the palm of your hand. It's lovely. I absolutely love using these crochet hooks. These, these will be great for holiday gifts or get it yourself, treat yourself to a crochet hook and your favorite size crochet hook would be fixed inside of it. There's international shipping. This is a right-handed crochet hook. Left-handed crochet hooks would look a little different, obviously opposite side. So uh, you can check out the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. I'll link it in the description of this video for your, your crochet hooks. Also, you're going to need a yarn needle and some scissors to cut your yarn, sew it things together, sew in some ends. And then the last thing we're going to need is a card. Um, I have these plain cards here. This is just a pack of 12 and they come with cards and envelopes in them. So that's what I am using today. You can use any card, any size card that you want. These ones are 4.25 inches by five and a half inches. So these are quite smaller and just cute for uh, holding like a gift card inside, which is what we're going to do today. So that's the last thing you'll need is a gift card because this is so cool. This little sleeve can kind of hold a gift card or some money inside of it. And then you can write something fancy or get a rubber stamp and stamp something really nice on the inside. My mom's handwriting is so fabulous and she was able to um, create this inside for us. So this is what we are going to make today, just this strap and this bow, and we're going to attach it to the card. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns, a big thank you to my dad back there for filming this tutorial and editing everything. Big thank you to you for watching, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube, and check out our Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the social media sites, and follow us there. So okay, let's just get started and make this cute little craft project. To start out, we're going to make the bow first, so let's make a slip knot, put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull this through and pull tight. I actually do have a bow um, tutorial on my channel already, but I want to show you this smaller version. So with your hook, you insert it into that loop there, and then we're going to chain 25. So yarn over and pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two three, four, five. I'm not going to make you watch me do 25 chains. So just chain 25 and I'll be right back. All right, this is what your chain should look like. So now what we're going to do without twisting anything, we're going to bring this beginning over back to the hook right here and put this in the back here and we're going to go into the very first chain and what you can see I'm doing is actually turning the chain towards me so I'm looking at the back ridges. You can see here all my nails here. <laughs> back ridge, back ridge, back ridge, back ridge. So that's what I'm going to be working into along this chain. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into the first chain. We're going to single crochet across or around I guess. We're making this in a round. So go into that first chain and then yarn over with your hook and pull it through the chain and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That's a single crochet. So then hop to the next chain and go into there, then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, single crochet. So we're just gonna do that in each chain around. So you should have 25 stitches around. So just single crochet, hop to the next chain, and single crochet. And this round is going to be a little bit more difficult just because the chains are small. 
So just take your time, but once you're finished, we will come back and we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so once you've single crocheted all the way around your chain, this is what you should have. Now what we're going to do is work in continuous rounds and we're going to work in the back loops only. So usually we'll work through, here's both loops, right here, both loops, both loops, both loops, both loops. What I'm going to do is work in the back loop, which is the loop that's furthest away from you, right here. Okay, so going in between these loops and going to the back loop. This loop in the front will be exposed and that is considered the front loop and we're not going to do with anything with that. If you want to work through both loops you can but I'm just going to work through the back loop just to give it that little extra um, texture to it. So what we're going to do is go into this very first stitch in the back loop, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and just work in continuous rounds and that's for rounds two, three, four, and five. Just work all the way around until you get back to this beginning here and then work another round and then do another round until you have five rounds total. Okay, once you have five rounds total, we'll be able to fasten this piece off uh, with a very long tail and we'll have to wrap it to make it look like a bow because it's not gonna look like a bow yet until we wrap the yarn around. And then uh, we'll be able to make the strap after this. All right, so as you can see, I finished five rounds. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch. You can see I'm going under both loops here, going in and yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And then we're gonna chain one. We're gonna cut our yarn quite long uh, because we're gonna actually wrap it around this bow and pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight okay it doesn't look like a bow but it will so what we're going to do is uh, this this will be the front and then where the ties are that's going to be the back we're going to leave this tie out and we'll be, we're going to use that later so don't sew that in we are going to push this middle in and kind of squeeze it in the middle here and take your very long strand and wrap it in the middle Okay, and make sure not to interfere with this strand here. We're going to use that later. So don't sew that one in, just leave it out. And as you can see, I'm just wrapping and wrapping. Okay, and making this look like a bow. Just pulling it really tight and wrapping. Okay. And you can wrap about, I don't know, 10 to 15 times, whatever you feel is most comfortable, but you still want a long strand. So I think that's good. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So that's what that should look like right now. We're going to grab our yarn needle and take that long strand and sew that in the back. Ooh, that's a really long strand. <laughs> we won't need that long. Maybe I should cut it. Okay. So we're going to take this in the back of our bow with our yarn needle and just go through those uh, strands there and just wrap it a couple times. Just like that. So that is our bow. Fabulous. So we're going to use these two strands later to tie onto the strap. So what I'm going to do right now is set this aside. I'm going to grab some more yarn right here and we're going to go on to making the strap right away. So what we're going to do is slip knot again, insert our hook, and the strap is super easy. We're just going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and across. So yarn over, go into the second chain, that's one, two, right here, and I'm working in that back ridge. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. 
Okay, that's a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Next chain, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And we're just half double crocheting across this chain, so you should have five half double crochets at the end of this row. So it's going to be a, a super thin strap. And now we're just going to chain one and turn our work around and half double crochet into each stitch. So there's five stitches on each row. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops, five. Okay. And we're just going to do that until we hit um, the length we need. I am going to personally do 27 rows. So chain one, turn your work, and then half double crochet in each stitch across. I'm going to do 27 rows. You can do more or less depending on how long your card is. And I just want to show you the card length. So this is, it's going to come from here, up, and around to here so all the way around so make sure this is the length of this is the whole length of this okay so I'm going to do that and once I have the length I need um, which is going to be 27 rows for me for the card size that I have but you might be longer or shorter um, just measure it out while you're going and once I finish I will come back and show you the next step all right, so I just finished row 27. This is how long it is, and I measured it around my card. So now we're going to chain one, cut your yarn long for sewing, and pull it all the way through and pull tight. Okay, so we're going to use that for sewing. Now, if you want to measure it around your card just to make sure that it fits, and you might want to stretch it, make sure to stretch it. And yep, that will fit. Awesome. Without bulking the card or making it, you know, bend or anything. And if you need to stretch it a little more, yes, that works, that fits. Okay, so now what we want to do is take this long end and sew this to this end here. So fold this in half. Okay. Go just do a whip stitch. So just sew these two layers together. And as you can see, just going through one side and making sure the stitches line up. Okay, and then fasten that off. So we're just going to go into a couple stitches, keep our finger in the loop, come back through the loop, and pull. And that creates a knot. And you can do that once or twice. I'm just going to do it once, and then I'm going to sew in this end, just up inside of the stitches of this piece. Okay. Cut that, and then I'm going to sew this. Also, this would actually be a cool headband. I just thought about that. <laughs> you can make this into a headband, and then sew a bow on it for the holidays. What a great idea, huh? Okay, so then I'm just sewing in this end, and chapping that. Alright, so now grab your bow. And we're going to cover that seam. So we're going to grab the bow right here. Okay. We're going to take one strand that's connected to the bow and go through the piece to the back. Okay. And we're going to grab the other side, the other strand, and we're going to go through the piece to the back. Okay, so they're both 
into the back. And position this nicely how you want it. Then flip this over and tie those two strands in a notch in the back. Okay, and then you want to sew in those ends, stretch this out. This is so cute. This could even be a pet collar too. Oh my gosh. So many possibilities with this. <laughs> There's so many possibilities with this idea. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm just um, sewing this end in just like that. Perfect. And then cut this short. Okay, grab your card and have a nice message on the inside. And then slide this over the front cover to decorate and make the front cover super fabulous. And I mean, you could position this wherever you want. If you want it like up on the top. That's cute. That's really cute. Or you can have it right in the middle. That's where I originally had it. Right here. Okay. And this is not even that bulky where it won't even fit in the envelope. You can kind of smush it down and it will fit in the envelope nicely. And then, last thing to do, grab your little gift card or some money and put that in the inside to Fold that like that, close it up, and there you have a nice little holiday card. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and learned something, and uh, hopefully you can make some cute handmade cards this holiday season. All right, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the social media sites, and leave us a comment and let me know what you think about this card. Until next time, happy hooking!